So Google just changed the share interface in all of their Google Docs and is rolling out the districts across the country. So I'm gonna quickly show you the difference between the old version of share and the new version of share. They're pretty much the same, but there are definitely some differences between the two. So on the left side here, this will be the old share options. So I'll open this up and it look familiar to you. It's the way that Google has had the share options for years. On the right side, this is where I'm gonna show you the new share options. So the first thing that you're gonna see is that it's kind of flipped, where on the left side, you'll see that you would add the people directly to the document on the bottom. Now that's shifted to the top. So if there's specific people or groups that you wanna add directly to the document, you're actually gonna type it right up into this top area here. Now the part that I think's changed the most is on the left side, you'll see the old way that you would kind of customize your share link would be one of two different ways. You could pick one of the pre-built ones here, or you could click more and you would get the full list of public, anyone with the link within your district. And then from there you would click, all right, do I want them to edit, comment, or view? In the new version, it is a bit different and they tried to streamline it, but just as a heads up, it is a different way to go about sharing those links. So on the right side here, you'll see that by default, you'll get the copy link, but uh, to actually go in and change it, it's gonna look different. So you click on this change button and right now it will say anyone with the link can view. And to change that, you would click this drop down. You'll see there's actually less options, it's more streamlined. So the top, it's just restricted to people that you share it with or people with the link directly. The second option is within your school domain. Uh, the third option is anyone with link. So again, the top one is restricted to just the people that you've added to the document. The second one down is within your school district. The third one down is anyone with the link can see it. So again, those are the three different options. So now once you choose one of them, so say for instance, I choose within the school department, I would click on the right here and that's where I can adjust whether they're a viewer, commenter, or editor. After that, everything's just about the same. So to quickly recap, uh, once you open it up, the top area is where you would share it with specific people or groups. The bottom area is where you would share the join link and adjust that to who you want to have access to it. Okay, so the last thing is on the left, there was that advanced features where you would click there. And then at the bottom, you could actually go in and customize who actually sees it. And then you can prevent editors from changing access into the disable options. That's actually a little different now. And I think it's a bit easier than the new way. So once you click share, those two options on the bottom, on the owner settings, you can see them now in the gear at the top right. So this is where there's just two boxes to check. Do you want editors to have permissions to share? Uh, and the second is the viewers and commenters can see the option to download, print, and copy. So that what used to be on the bottom in the advanced settings are now just in the gear to the top right. Okay, so I hope that helped. If you ever have questions, feel free to reach out to me at tomdriscolledu and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more free tutorials.